Today is all about throwing out what you've learned about concealer in the past and trying these five tips that I have for you and seeing whether or not it won't help your mature under eyes look their very best they've ever looked. Hello friends, I am so glad that you're here with me today. I have been wanting to do this video for a while because I have been practicing this particular technique and it just seems to be for the first time in a very long time working so well for me. If you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that a while back, I threw away all my concealers. It was like, no more. I can't do it because they looked so bad underneath my eyes. Then I found Kosas and Kosas was the one that got me kind of back into the concealer routine. And I absolutely love Kosas. But once I started using these few tips and put them into practice, I all of a sudden noticed that at the end of the day, I didn't look dry underneath here as the Sahara Desert. There wasn't anything that I had to tap out as the day went on. Now I will say that since we are into the humid summer months, you might have to look in the mirror occasionally and do this. I mean, it happens to us all, but this gives me the best coverage I've ever had because my under eyes are almost black. When I don't have all these lights around, they are so, so dark. I'm very self-conscious about them and I wanna cover them, but it seems like the more product you put on there, the harder it is. Well, I've kind of found a way around that. We can use as much product as we need to, but they can still look perfected and beautiful. So those five tips are just ahead. Right here is a timestamp because right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna show my shirt, my jewelry, everything for everybody. So there's a timestamp right here that you can go ahead and go to if you wanna skip over what I'm wearing. So I have this pink shirt on today that has a great neckline on it and it has the cutout on it all the way around. And I actually didn't wear or my strapless bra because I was like, didn't feel like, you know, fighting that thing today. So you can get some of that two-sided tape and you can do your bra straps to right here so that instead of being all the way in, mine kind of sit normally out there anyway. So really easy to hide the bra straps if you need to. And the other thing about this is I would size up if it were me. I, I wear a large, that's my normal size, but I wish that I had gotten this in an extra large. As you can see in the picture, it's just a little bit too tight even though I do like to wear my t-shirts a little bit tight. And by the way, this is a poly spandex blend. So it's not going to be your typical t-shirt material. It's just a little bit dressier than that. And I really like it. And then I, during Amazon Prime, bought these cute little hoops. They are kind of a rope hoop and they aren't heavy at all. They're very light, they're gold. And I'm not sure if they had silver or not, but um, when you get in there, you can see if you like the silver better. And then what I was so excited excited and happy about is this adorable necklace. This is hearts and it's just linked hearts and I just think you're so so pretty and I'm absolutely in love with it and yeah it's very dainty and just looks really pretty and as always I will put any makeup that I didn't talk about in the video down in the links below along with my fingernail polish and all of my rings that I wear today and speaking of links right here we're going to have a number come up and that number will co correspond with whatever product I'm using at that moment. And you don't have to remember what that product is. All you have to re remember is that you wanted number three or you were interested in number three. Open up the description box, go down in there and everything will be numbered. And so you can go to number three and whatever I was talking about will be right there along with the link and you can shop that way if you want to. All right, now it's time to get into the tutorial so that you can see how I do my under eyes for this 54 year old woman that has creasing and crepey and wrinkles and dark dark darkness and yeah let's attack every bit of that in this video right now all right we are all zoomed in now the first thing i want to tell you is we're not talking about wrinkles we're not talking about the lines that we have underneath here and that you can get rid of them with concealer they're there no matter what. At the very end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a close up like this and I'm gonna smile so you can see that I have wrinkles and yes, they are shown up all the time. Now, when you see me under the lights and everything, it's a little bit harder to realize that when you see somebody up in person, they really do have a lot of wrinkles, especially at my age. I'm 54 and it's just one of those things about life. And I earned every one of these laugh lines, these frown lines. <laughs> And I 
um, not ashamed of them. And I think that you should not be ashamed of them either. Okay. So I've already done a primer. I did the new essence gripping primer. I'm going to start by using my Sephora best skin ever. The color in this is 30, 30 P. So it's got a pink undertone of it. I'm going to use two pumps and I'm just going to pick it up on my sponge. It's usually what I've been doing these days to kind of just have things be just a little bit easier and quicker for me. I just pick up a little dot of it and then I dot it around. I did do my forehead because if I hadn't done my forehead before I did this, I would uh, not have been able to do my eyebrows. The biggest way that you can fight those wrinkles is to uber hydrate your skin. So I would suggest that you put on a super hydrating essence that's very watery, that can sink in re really quickly. And then I would suggest that you use my tried and true Suko Yakasuhara um, Urea Moisture Cream, and I just slather it. I will link down below two essences, one from this company and another from uh, Rovectin that I think are fantastic. Let me show you how much I actually used. That's how much I used. That's a lot. And this tube is almost two ounces. So you can use that and be very comfortable with it. So I'm going to use that on the back of my hand because I don't want to waste it. Um, but yes, you have to hyper moisturize. Now, the second thing about it is that, um, and I've said this in many videos too, is that now that you have that super slathered all over, if you have too much on after you let it sink in, at that point I took a uh, microfiber, very soft microfiber cloth, and then I patted away everything that was extra under my eyes. But now those eyes are super hydrated underneath here. So that's the only thing that you can do that will truly plump up that area, and then it will help so much with that under eye look of having lots of wrinkles. The only way that you can not have wrinkles when you smile or not look like you have more wrinkles when you smile is to go around all day long like this and don't smile and don't move your eyes up and down and don't squint or anything. Don't go around like that. <laughs> you need to be happy and expressive. It's just good to be yourself. Besides, the wrinkles are you. They're a part of you. It's okay. It's okay. I guess that's what I'm just trying to say. It's okay. All right, here's the part you've been waiting for. What are you talking about, Melissa? What, what are you talking about when you say throw away all the rules of concealer? And that is this tip. Now, first of all, I have never been able to wear the uh, Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Never been able to wear this in my whole life because it was too thin and I could not get it to work. It didn't have enough coverage. But since I've been doing this technique, this tip, I've been able to wear just about any concealer unless they're super drying and you can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of this one on because this is a super thin formula. So see how much I'm putting on? I know, I know, it looks like a ton. What are you doing, Melissa? Okay, I just completely covered that. Now here's my Kosas. This is the one I love. This is the one I use every day and it is the one that never fails me. If you guys have the chance to try it, I just say go for it, it's so good. So on this one, I'm completely covering everything as well. I know that's a lot, but you are gonna completely let this set. Let it set 100% don't mess with it. You you can ex, you know have expressions whatever. Just let it set. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to do everything that I can that doesn't involve the eyes <laughs> or getting close to the eyes. So I'm taking my Milani. This is the Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunkissed, and this is just an angled brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my contouring and my bronzing with this staying away from that under eye when you do that cheek but right now i'm going to do my lips because um i still want that to set i'm using the rimmel this is the lasting uh finish exaggerate pencil this is a liner that is for your lips and it has an angle on it already so it kind of stays sharp and i'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with it now i'm taking the sephora matte lip stain in a color that i could not see even if i had three pairs of glasses on so i'll make sure that i list it below for you real pretty pink that kind of matches my shirt today so i'm liking that give that a few seconds to dry down and then just pop a little bit of gloss on there I'm using the Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. 
I just rediscovered this and I forgot how much I love this stuff. It's so pillowy and yummy. Okay, this has set. And what's the nice thing about that is now you have a thicker consistency, but you still have the hydration from whatever you chose in your concealer. So I'm gonna go over here and do the Costa side. And I just start from the outside and I try to look straight up. And I am really buffing in that outside. And I take my time and I'm gonna bring that down on my cheek and it's just going to look absolutely lovely. I love that. I'm gonna do this side and because this is a little bit thinner formula, because I let this set up a little bit longer, it should be all right. Can you see how smooth and how pretty it looks? And that's because I let it set up. But look at my sponge. My sponge picked up the majority of it. Now, if you still feel like you have too much on, Take an, another part of your sponge and just go across it a little bit. I don't feel like I have too much on because I've really worked with it. I don't want you to make a bunch of expressions right now. I want you to just kind of let that set. What you're going to do now, oh my gosh, you guys, have you discovered the new Max Fix Stay Over? Okay, this is alcohol free. It's long lasting setting spray. It's really good. Okay, this is trick right here and i've been doing this for a long time was started by um, a tiktok gal named kendra i'm going to say her name wrong aris she's beautiful anyway she's a makeup artist i watch her all the time she has the best tips i'll make sure that i link her tiktok handle down below now what she does is she sprays the back of her hand with a setting spray so we've got quite a bit on there now what she normally does is use your finger i don't do that so i just pick up what i've sprayed on the back of my hand on my sponge and I'm just going in very lightly and I'm just touching that with the spray. I don't spray it right onto the, the sponge because I don't want quite as much as that. I am picking up quite a bit off my hand, but I don't want as much as that. This is her trick to set them. My trick is the coverage part. Now the final tip is letting that sit one more time. I had, the last time I talked about letting products sit before you do your next thing, I had a lot of you say, I don't have time for that. Well, you know, you almost have to make time if you want these things to work because as we get older, it just takes longer than just, you know, putting it on and we look great and we can go. This is the way you get it to not crease, not look super dry during the day and completely cover. Okay, on the side that I had the Maybelline, I'm gonna take the number seven Lift and Luminate. This is almost too light for me right now with what I'm doing, but I'm gonna take that pressed powder and I'm going to pick up a little bit of it and I'm going to just very lightly again, set right here underneath the eye. Okay, I'm in one of my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palettes and I'm going right in here. I think this is dim light or diffuse light. I actually just go between those two right there. I'm really trying hard to use these up. Um, and then I'm going to, again, just touch this a little bit and set it. I'm actually gonna take just a little bit more of that and I'm gonna set the places where I know I get break apart, especially around my nose. I just want you to look now. Look how perfect they look, how beautiful they look. I'm not gonna do the smiling thing, but in a second, when I'm done with everything, I'm gonna smile and let you see that yes, I have the creases and the wrinkles just like you do. I'm also going to try the new e.l.f. These are the luminous blushes. I've really been anxious to see what these look like. Now, you can put a little bit of that blush up closer to your eye. That's gonna be a pretty look on you if you wanna try that. That blush is beautiful. Do you see the tiny bit of sheen in it? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. What a beautiful color that is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take one of these Sephora pencils, eye pencils. This is called Shimmering Taupe. This is one of my new favorite colors. It's got some dimension to it. So I'm going to take that out here just on the outer part of my eye, just barely. And I'm gonna take my trusted Sigma E2, I'm sorry, Sigma E30 brush, and I'm just gonna buff it a tiny bit out. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. And then I've been working with this waterproof mascara from uh, Makeup Revolution. I really like it. It's called 5D Lash Lift and Defined Waterproof. Kind of a really straight brush actually. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara out here. Okay, so here's the part I've been talking about. I'm gonna zoom you in so it's, you can just see the eyes. Okay, 
this looks so good and this is going to stay on all day it's covered completely but when I smile like this, you can definitely tell that I have a ton of wrinkles in there. So if it's really super humid and you're smiling, you know, it, you're gonna have to, you know, do this during the day once or twice. But I very rarely ever find myself doing that. And by the end of the day, my under eye is makeup is still there. You might need to use a little bit more powder depending on who you are, how you feel about it. Now, I want you to know that this might not be the exact exact thing that you need, you might need to tweak this whole routine for you so that it's personalized to you. If you have the creasing during the day, you might need to be using your sponge a lot more and wiping a lot more away. If you actually throughout the day, you're noticing that it's wearing off, you might need to be using a little bit more fixing spray, a little bit more powder. If you're noticing that it looks super dry, you might be using too much powder underneath there. A little bit of tweaking for you because this is my routine and this is what works out the best for me. I hope that you all did enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out of here and weigh in down below about what you thought about it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put up another video right here. It will have some tips and tricks for you. Hopefully that you haven't seen before, especially if you've just been with me for a year or two. I'll put up an older tips and tricks video right here so that you can see that. Thanks so much for spending time with me. I love you all so very much and I will talk to you and see you in my very next video. Love you friends. Goodbye.